what's up guys welcome back malik here and today we're going to be looking at my trades on the nasdaq 100 today all were losses actually i had seven trades on the day the first trade was at 809 and then what we were seeing here is that the nasdaq basically came into the zone so i thought we would have had a rejection in the zone we did have the rejection, but just the wicks kept knocking me out. So my two buy side trades got hit out for a loss of 11 and 10. And then I was entering to the sell side after that. And I kept getting knocked out, knocked out, knocked out until I just stopped trading for the day, basically. So the first trade was on the 8 o'clock candle. So this is at 8 or 9. So 8 o'clock here. And that is at 14.607. This is where I entered to the buy side, thinking I would have gotten a good entry to the upside. I got knocked out on the same candle at the 14.595.7 for $11.30. That's where I got knocked out on this trade. Uh, yeah, where did I? Yes, fourteen five nine five point seven. That's where I got knocked out, and then my entry was at fourteen six zero seven. Five nine 5.7 I was looking for the market to kind of rebound from here into the zone you can see that it respected the zone but it actually came down and broke below the zone that's what I think they would call like a liquidity sweep so the market basically takes out some people's stop losses to grab liquidity before it starts trending to the upside so this was the first trade that I lost for 11.30. Second trade I entered on the 8.45 candle. To the upside again, because I was expecting that this to be a better entry than the one I had previously. But the market still came and hit me out on the 9.15 candle. And that's when the market kind of wicked down there. Even if I didn't get stopped out on this candle, I would have gotten hit out on the 10.15 because it actually came deeper at that point. So I got stopped out here at 14.566 for a loss of 10.30. Okay. Then the next trade I entered on 9.30. That was at 14591.7. Then I got stopped out. Same candle on the 930 at 14601 for a loss of $9.30. The next trade I entered looks like on the 930 as well. So I'm going to use this as the entry candle. And that was at 14605.4. Then I got stopped out on the same 930 at 14615.05. And I found this funny because I didn't see price. Well, it, it barely came and wicked up to that level. And hit me out for a loss of 9.65. The next trade seems like I entered a lot of trades at 9.30. The next trade I entered at 14.591.2. And I got stopped out at 14.618. Flat for a loss of 26.80. And then I was trying to use this level as 
kind of a fair value gap range so you can see from right here to right here and then i had my stop loss barely within the range it kind of wicked up hit me out of the range here for a loss of 2680 the next trade was a loss of 1760 now and i entered to the sell side again and this was at 1140 so that's part of the 1130 candle 1130 I entered this one at 14596.7 and got stopped out on the same 11:30 candle at 14614.3 for a loss of 17.60 as the market started to trend up that would have been a good entry for me to play to the upside but because i switched my bias i wasn't able to capitalize on that the next trade i entered was on the 12 15 candle and that was the last trade of the day so i ended to the downside here looking for another reversal after the market began to push up at 14 656 Point nine. Then I got stopped out on the twelve thirty here at fourteen six four four point three six four four point three six four four point three fourteen six four four. That doesn't make sense. Fourteen. Six six four. Okay, that makes much more sense. Okay, so I got stopped out here on this candle for a loss of seven forty, and after that, I just decided not to trade anymore for the rest of the day. And that's basically it for today's video. You can see that the strategy worked better during the week. But then on this Friday where we had a huge options expiry, it just didn't play out. But um, what I want to actually pay attention to is PayPal and Tesla. Because today we had a huge sell-off at around 9.20. And you can see the buying really came in at 9.30. And this is kind of... This is something to pay attention to. This is the level when everybody's buying and this was the 52 week low of PayPal. And then also, I think it was the same for Tesla and people really bought up these stocks today. So PayPal is probably joining with Ledger to allow crypto transactions and PayPal is really doing it. So I think it's gonna be the bank of the future, just like Tesla with electric vehicles and the uh, robot taxis, the artificial intelligence and all that. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.